Morning, Susanna here from Good Property Company. Right, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about building regs as a layperson, but a relatively experienced layperson. I've done another little vid. Um, here we are. This is a folder that we printed out when we first got started in business, which is called Building Regulation Details Bristol. <laughs> that's what it says on the tin. And that's because in the early days, um, listening about building regs really kind of scared me. It was like really official. I didn't know what I was talking about. So I thought, gosh, here's a possibility that I could trip up. Now I'm, I'm just about to shred all of the stuff because I, I, I would say I've got it firmly in my head. So here's my um, layperson view. There are two ways of working with building regs. Uh, number one is you can call the council out directly. And I've had really great... Um, uh, relationships with council building regs departments or number two which is the way that we tend to go now you can work with commercial organizations who are effectively a go-between between you and the council and these days I certainly appreciate that the builders much prefer to work with those commercial guys and then there are all sorts of um, uh, um, not methods, all sorts of circumstances in which you need building regs. So a really great resource for you guys is plan the, pl the website planning portal. Have a good look at that. Read it from cover to cover. It tells you when you need building regs, uh, when you don't need building regs. For example, when you're replacing a roof, if you think about it, you need building regs for anything whereby it's going to be a little bit dangerous. So whether it's gas, whether it's water, obviously a roof is really heavy, so if you replace the roof incorrectly, it could it could fall down. So just think, if it's dangerous or could cause some danger to a person, probably it needs building regs. And then find out either through your commercial uh, company or through the local council. But I was just rereading some of the stuff. I know this is a very exciting video. Connection with sewer undertaker, sewerage undertaker. And you have to consult with the sewerage people before you do any work. And I'm like, oh yeah, we've done that quite a number of times. And it's quite nice to see some of our physical work back into paperwork and going, yeah, that's how we did it. So um, either work directly with your council. I found them to be excellent. Literally, you phone them up before half nine in the morning. They're out that day to come and inspect or work with a commercial organization. The one circumstance that you can't work with a commercial organization is um, a, a when you're doing a regularization. So basically, either you or someone else has done some work that's crap, and you're now trying to, or, or that didn't get applied for building control at the time, and now you're trying to regularize that. You have to work directly, certainly in Bristol, with your council. And if you're kind of a bit nervous about it, print out the whole thing and just have a good old read of it. Later on, you'll be like, yeah, done that, done that, done that. See you soon, and I hope that's useful. Bye.